What's good with y'all? Scorps, this is a Scorpio only tower. Welcome to the channel. Y'all go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button if you're digging energy. We greatly appreciate it. If y'all want to leave a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below. Scorps, if y'all want to help me out as an individual, this is indeed my full time job. I don't do any personal reads, so it'd be greatly appreciated if y'all do, Scorp. Um, this will be a reading for Scorpio singles. Okay, my last read was Scorpio couples. Okay, somebody that was Scorpio was involved with. Okay, they could have been on a break or they could have had a bad breakup. Now, this is going to go for Scorpio Singles. What's coming towards Scorpio Singles' way? Okay, this will be our general message. All right, this will not resonate with everybody. So, let's go ahead and get started, Scorp. What's coming towards Scorpio Singles? What's coming towards Scorpio Singles? What is coming towards Scorpio Singles? For mid May 2021. Mid May all the way till June. What's coming towards Scorpio's way for Scorpio singles? What is coming towards Scorpio singles? King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Somebody from the past is returning, Scorpio. Well, oh, some of y'all don't want to hear that, but to the Scorpio singles, that uh, you still in love with somebody from your past, you still love somebody from your past, they still love you too, evidently. Got somebody from your past coming in, Scorpio. They've been thinking about you a lot. They've been, uh, you've been on this individual's mind. They've been feeling, they've been thinking a lot of passionate thoughts about you, especially with the King of Wands. Could be with a Mr. Fire sign, Miss, Mrs. Or Mr. Fire sign, you know what I'm saying? Could be with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, could be their rising, their moon, their Venus, and North Node rise, and Mars, Pluto. Okay. But anyway, Scorp, uh, this individual has been thinking about you. Okay. Now, it looks like to me they still love you, Scorpio. They still love you. They still think about you. A lot. I'm getting a lot. They still care. They still care. They still love you, Scorpio. This could be a mother figure. Okay? This could be a mother figure. The Empress. Could be a Taurus. Could be a mother figure or father figure. Okay? You just have those qualities to them. Very caring. Okay, if if uh, you're Scorpio masculine, you could be dealing with a feminine that's very caring, that's very nurturing. Okay, she's very loving towards you, Scorpio. She's very caring towards you. She's very attracted to uh to you. Very attracted. The Empress is highly attracted to you. Okay, especially with these two energies right here, Scorpio. They're very loving towards you. I'll tell you that much. This individual came to talk right. This individual from your past is very loving towards you, Scorpio. Highly attracted. Okay, so I mentioned the Scorpio mask. If you're dealing with a feminine, she's highly attracted to you. Very caring, very loving. She thinks very loving and warm thoughts about you, Scorp. To the Scorpio feminines, it's the same thing from a Scorpio mask. Uh, for the Scorpio feminines, it's the same thing from the masculine. All right. Strength call. I could be with a Leo. So I get the sense that this individual has been holding back a lot, Scorpio, but this is somebody that thinks that they could just calm you down. This is somebody that knows that they could just tame the beast. You know what I'm saying? They know that they could just, yeah, let me just put my hand on that lion's head that's going to irritate the fucking lion. You know what I'm saying? I said this one on one of my other videos. Look how uncomfortable that lion is. Like, hey, come on, boy. Just, just relax. Relax. <laughs> Ain't no motherfucker relax with a Scorpio. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> Especially when the lion is enraged, a raised out lion. <laughs> they go calm that damn lion down. The lion is going to be aggressive. Especially, I'm getting a sense of this for a Scorpio masculine out there. This is a lady. You got two ladies here. 
in a sense, she's attracted to that side. She's attracted to your, your, she's attracted to that. But at the same time, this individual right here, Scorp, knows that they could calm you down. Okay? They know that they could calm you down. They have very nurturing motherly like qualities, Scorp, or fatherly like qualities for the Scorpio feminines. So just like I said, this could be with a Taurus or a Leo. Don't have to be. The world, this individual could be at a distance from you, Scorpio. All right. Yeah, you got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius here. So you got somebody at a distance, Scorpio, right here. Okay, don't have to be. It could be emotional distance, physical distance. Okay. But this right here, Scorpio, this individual right here is very caring toward you. Very loving there, very much in love with you, and very, very caring. And they feel like they could tame your wild side. You got the lion. You got the lady with the lion. The Hierophant. You could be with a Taurus. Yeah, this is something right here, Scorpio, is... I see a commitment coming your way. I see a commitment coming your way from somebody from your past. Somebody that you had your heart broken over, Scorpio, or that you, uh, you could have broke their heart. Okay, take it how it resonates. Both of y'all hearts could have got broken. But there was definitely some pain here. Six of Swords looks like somebody wants to move out of that energy. Yeah, this is somebody at a distance with the Six of Swords. You got Six Swords in the world. Somebody could be traveling to come see you, Scorpio. Or you could be traveling to go to them. Look, they want a new beginning with you. So you will be having this individual reach out to you. They do want to start something new. And I get there's something to do with a commitment. They want to overcome this Three of Swords energy right here. It could have been a betrayal. But they want to start something new. Queen of Pentacles. So you definitely have a queen here. With the pentacles. And you then you got it right after the ace of pentacles. This is all about stability. Somebody wants a stable connection. Somebody wants to offer you stability. And it's the final decision that they made, Scorpio. Their, their final decision has been made. The decision has been made to give you something stable. And to not hurt you anymore. If they hurt you, Scorpio, they're going to fix this. They want to fix it. I'm getting a lot of fix in there. They want to fix this shit. Be because they know you're mad. They know you're angry. They know that this really upsets you. And they want to fix it. And I get the sense this individual is about the real deal, Scarp. They want to bring it to a commitment. They want something to stay, but they want to bring it to a commitment. This is a final decision that has been made from this individual to return. And to settle down and commit. That's what I'm getting. This is commitment right here, Scorp. And you only have, okay, you got the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is the only negative card I have here. The only negative look. Look at the rest, how positive they look. That's how I could tell that they're not thinking nothing negative of you, Scorp. They're thinking very warm, loving thoughts. See? Queen of Pentacles and a Hierophant. And you got the only negative card right here. So this is somebody that has more than likely hurt you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Swords. I'm kind of curious. Why is the Three of Swords here for Scorpio's uh, person, for Scorpio singles? The Emperor and the Nine of Wands. You got the emperor here. And you got the empress. Somebody wants to be with you, Scorpio. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody has made up their mind to be with you. And you ought to want for them. Now, this is not going to resonate with everybody. But this is somebody right here, Scorpio, that continuously thinks about you. Thinks about the warm thoughts about it. They have very warm, 
loving thoughts. And they know that they hurt you. They know that you're on guard. You're in the upper energy. But this is a match. This is a match. And you know what else is a match? When you got the emperor and the empress here, the hair of font. They want to commit. A final decision has been made from this individual, Scorpio. And they want a commitment. That's what I'm getting out of this read. And that's what I have, Scorp. That's what I have. What's the final outcome of the situation? What's the final outcome of the situation between Scorpio singles and this individual that's coming back to start? Ten of Cups. What I told y'all, Scorp, the cops, the, the, the cops. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm saying the cards do not lie. Ten of Cups is all about that long-term commitment. You got the hair font. You got the Empress, and you got the Emperor. And, on top of it all, you got the Queen of Pentacles. This is stability, Scorpio. Then you have that Ace of Pentacles. They're coming in with a solid fucking offer of commitment. Okay, the Herophant, and the final outcome of the situation is, bam, to the cups. You and this individual is going to be back together, Scorpio. That's what it is. With the Ten of Cups. They're constantly thinking about all this with you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting to. That's another thing that's coming through to me, Scorp. They're constantly thinking about that this is what they can have with you because they know that you're the end all be all. They have made up their minds, Scorp. There's a final decision that has been made. And they want to do the right thing. And they know you're angry. Okay, this individual can know that you, you have some anger towards them, that you are on guard because they know they hurt you. They know. But it looks like to me, Scorpio, they, they want to overcome all that as I say, look, this is what I have on the table. I'm here to do the, I'm here to do the right thing. To be, how can I say this? Okay, for the emperor, okay, if you're a masculine out there, this empress wants to be your empress. Okay, this individual wants to be your empress. For the Scorpio Feminines, this individual wants to be your emperor. They want to give you this with the Ten of Cups. That's the final outcome of the situation. It's going to be a long-term commitment. They can't stop thinking about it, Scorpio. So that's what's going to be coming towards Scorpio Singles' way, okay? And that was the final outcome of the situation with the Ten of Cups. All right, Scorp. So if y'all enjoyed the content, y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. If y'all want to leave a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below. Just like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't do any personal reads. But if y'all care to help me out as an, as an individual, Scorp, it will be greatly appreciated, okay? So thank y'all very much for the ones who have donated to me, okay? Greatly appreciated. Thank y'all. And this will not resonate with everybody. And that's what I have for y'all, Scorp, okay? So y'all take it easy out there. Much love. Peace out.